back. Now, have you ever heard of fatty liver disease? Well, it may be something you want to familiarize yourself with because Dr. Sam Musa is here to tell us how serious this is and how it is actually on the rise. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. We were just, uh, I, I was asking, is this really on the rise? And you actually were telling me kind of some very startling stats about it. Uh, fatty liver disease is becoming number one liver disease in the country. Wow. The latest estimate by the Mayo Clinic uh, just recently, there is about 80 to 100 million people in the U.S. with fatty liver disease. We see it more so in places like Tucson because it affects Hispanic Americans more than other segments of the population. Well, then this is the exact reason why we need to be talking about this on the show today to educate everyone. So can you tell me what is fatty liver disease? Uh, well, fatty liver disease is a spectrum. It's, uh, the fat gets into the liver, and if you look on your screen on the left side, there are mainly two kinds of fatty liver disease. The left side, it shows you, you know, a, a yellow liver, and we call it steatosis. Now, those patients actually can do very well with diet and exercise, and that could actually be reversible. Now, the problem is when they move to the right side where it says steatohepatitis, you can see that the word hepatitis was added because the fat is causing inflammation of the liver and those patients at significant risk of having cirrhosis in any cirrhosis of the liver can lead to cancer. Now, liver cancer is on the rising while all cancers basically is on the decline. Wow, and, and looking at those visuals, that helps us kind of understand the stages and the different kinds. How does somebody know, though, if they're, they have that or they're experiencing that, like symptoms? Well, a fatty liver disease, 99% of the time, has no symptoms. Oh. But the pa if you have a patient uh, who's overweight, they have diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, high lipids, uh, diagnosing fatty liver disease is very simple, very cheap. It's a simple blood test. You know, any uh, patient can ask the primary care physician, I want my liver counts checked. That's really very affordable, $10 <laughs> test. And then an ultrasound. An ultrasound, uh, you know, from what I know, is about $50 test. Most insurance companies cover it. And that will tell you the size of the liver and the texture of the liver. Now, those patients who have fatty liver disease on the ultrasound and they have elevated liver profile, uh, or elevated count, we call them, then they need to know how severe that fatty liver disease is. And there is a new technology that the FDA approved about three years ago, and it happened that, you know, we have it in our facility for research reason, and that's what we call fibrous scan. Okay. And if you look on your monitor, the fibrous scan actually measures uh, non-invasively how bad is liver disease for that particular patient. It measures how much scarring they have, how much fat they have, it gives us an idea if this is a patient that can work out, exercise, lose weight, and get rid of it, or this patient actually needs further evaluation. And, that, and that's exactly why we're saying ask your doctor you know, for these things, because we, of course, want to try to know that this is happening to us earlier and earlier, just like anything else uh, that can happen to us. So why is it, I, I know we were looking at those pictures, is that why it's so important to know you have this? It so is. That it doesn't progress. It is, because see, not everybody who has fatty liver, liver disease, I hope, you know, all, all the tens of thousands of people that are listening to this, you know, m the majority of them is solvable. It's reversible. Yeah. It's, you know, uh, controlling lipids, controlling blood sugar, blood pressure, controlling weight, avoiding refined carbs like corn syrup, for instance. That's really the deadliest refined carb. So that could be reversible if there is no what we call fibrosis, yeah. which is a medical jargon for scarring. So they need to know what type of fatty liver disease they have, and it would be quite reversible with diet and exercise in 80% of people. Now, there is a, a minority of patients that can progress clearly to cirrhosis, and those are the patients that need to know, where am I? Yeah. And that's where uh, advanced technology like FabroScan would come in. I think, uh, you know, we're kind of talking about those consequences of not knowing or, or it getting to a point where it's not reversible or, or things that will have to take a next step. Uh, is, is something that could happen. Right, because see, it's not reversible when it gets to cirrhosis. Yeah. See, the intervention is just like when someone has blood pressure. You, you treat the blood pressure because it's gonna cause kidney failure and this and that. This uh, is to prevent cirrhosis. People are surprised 20 years after they were told they have fatty liver, they have cirrhosis. And now I wanna make this clear. We're talking about people who don't drink alcohol yeah. or drink alcohol socially. 
This is not for alcoholic. And on the slide that you see on the left side, you see NAFLD, which means non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So if someone drinks like three glasses of wine per day, per week, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> per day would be a problem. Yes. Uh, then, then that would not qualify. So 30% of the population have fatty liver disease that is not related to alcohol and even affect 10% of children. Now those patients, if they don't have, if they don't have a scarring, which FibroScan can tell, the risk is very low. In 10 years, only 3% will have cirrhosis. That's not a big deal. And actually, that is uh, preventable by exercise and diet, particularly avoiding refined carbs. And I want people to know there is a big difference between refined carbs and complex carbs. Yeah. Uh, complex carbs, nuts. Refined right. carbs, white rice. Just examples. Now, the other patients, if we have the slide back, please, again. The other patients... Um, the last slide that we just Yeah, had. the last slide, because... It, uh, the patients that have what we call non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, uh -huh. those are the patients that progress to cirrhosis. Okay. So the, the bottom part of the slide would call non-alcoholic steatohepatitis with fibrosis. This is about 78% of the population. This is a problem because 30% of those patients will have cirrhosis. And that is a segment that needs to be uh, treated. And this is a segment that we need to worry about. This is... Everything we just said is exactly why you're here, doctor. We're getting the education out. Let them know, talk to their doctor, ask for those right uh, tests. It's something simple, something that can get covered. But uh, you are definitely probably getting to somebody and, and a lot of people today that are going to be happy that they ask the right questions along the way. I just have one message. I don't want them to be alarmed because 80% of the time this is reversible. Yep. They need to know about those 20% of the time that they need something to be done. Yep. The first thing to do is to get educated first. Doctor, thank you so much again for coming in. You're welcome. Absolutely. Now, if you would like actually to learn more on fatty liver disease, there will be a public educational event on April 7th at the Tucson Medical Center Marshall's Auditorium from 11 to noon. Space is limited, so make sure to call 318-1236 to reserve a seat and visit adobegastro.com for more information.